Hi, I'm Dr. Debbie White from Lone Mountain Animal Hospital, and today we're talking about canine parvovirus, a highly contagious intestinal virus that primarily affects puppies, but can even be found in an adult dog if they're unvaccinated. Canine parvovirus has been in the United States since the 1970s, and we continue to see cases year-round, although at different seasons of the year we tend to see more. In the spring and the fall, when the weather is nice, People are outdoors with their pets enjoying them, and this also coincides with times when we see a lot of puppies born. Parvovirus causes very severe symptoms that start with a loss of appetite, lead to vomiting, diarrhea, and even bloody diarrhea. If untreated, the disease is fatal in over 90% of cases. But fortunately, with aggressive veterinary care, over 80% of dogs can survive canine parvovirus. Treatment of the disease includes hospitalization, intravenous fluids, IV antibiotics, anti-nausea medicines, and other supportive care. Most dogs treated for canine parvovirus may be hospitalized for three to five days. For prevention of canine parvovirus, vaccination is key. When puppies are born, they inherit immunity from their mom, and this immunity will wear off in the first weeks to months of their life. That is why we need to boost puppy vaccination starting at six weeks of age and going until 16 weeks of age. This frequent boosting series is vital to ensure that a puppy can mount its own immune response if faced with parvovirus. But even adult dogs do need vaccination as well. You should consult with your own veterinarian about your pet's vaccination needs. Are you considering getting a new puppy? We'll look at the dog's vaccination background and the vaccinations of its parents as well. This is important to provide a good protective immunity against parvo. And if you suspect your dog has been exposed to parvo, keep them isolated from other dogs, monitor for symptoms, and be sure to disinfect the environment with a dilute bleach and Avoid taking your puppy to group areas until they're fully vaccinated. And this might include until 16 weeks of age. Also, if you have a potentially high-risk breed for parvo, which includes dogs such as the Pitbull, Rottweiler, and Doberman, you may want to consult with your veterinarian about vaccines beyond 16 weeks of age. So canine parvovirus is a very serious disease, but with good preventative tips from your veterinarian and sticking to a sound vaccination strategy, you can keep your pet safe.